What's up, Falcon fans? Welcome back to Anatomy of a Play. Today we're going to talk about how the game planning process and providing options for the players can help us be more adaptable when things start to go haywire in the middle of the game. Let's go ahead and take a look at the game planning side of it first. As we've done before, we start with our data analysis screen and we're looking for the third down option. So we can filter here by third down and then we can also filter by down and distance. So we'll choose all of our short yardage options, which for us is usually going to be one to three yards, but we'll occasionally expand that just a little bit. And when we do that, we see that the defense adjusts the coverage a little bit and they're more likely to be running some varieties, but still we're expecting to see their base defense in this situation. Most offenses like to run the ball against them, and most of the offenses will run trips. For us, that's a warning sign. We should take a look at those trips plays and figure out why your team is running trips against them. And what you find is that in a defense like this one, we expect to see against trips a balanced front. And that is true for this defense as well. They're in a 3-4 defense with those four linebackers spread evenly across the field. And because of that, we get an advantage to the three receiver side. And so we game planned to be in trips a lot more than we were in our ace formation, our two by two formation. And what we wanted to do was game plan a third down short yardage play out of trips that will get us those three to five yards for a first down. The play that we designed is a run pass option or RPO that we run fairly regularly. We tweaked it a little bit for this specific defense. This RPO has four different options for our quarterback pre-snap. If he likes the route on the left, he can throw the quick out to the single receiver. He would do that if the corner was playing off and there was a lot of space to the outside. That's one that we throw a lot. He can also throw what we call a fast screen out to the receiver on the right. Our outside receiver will run the fast screen and our next receiver will go block the defender in front of him. Our third receiver will run what we call an apex route, which is about seven steps before he turns around. In the box, we're running what we call trap. And trap is simply down blocks by the front side offensive line and the center. And our backside guard is going to pull and kick out the end. What makes trap a good complement run for this play is that it actually leaves a linebacker unblocked. When we run this play, our quarterback is reading this linebacker. If the linebacker defends the run by coming up towards the line of scrimmage, we know that this receiver is going to be open by having grass to the inside. If this linebacker stays out to defend the pass, we know that this running back has space now to the inside and can run the ball. Giving the quarterback all of these options on a third and short play gives us a better chance of getting that first down. On game day, we learned during our first series that they were going to defend us a little bit differently than we had anticipated. Instead of working with two safeties deep, they decided to roll one of those safeties down in different situations. And so it gives us a different look than we'd anticipated. We realized on this third and five that we had a really good opportunity with the play that we had drawn up, our RPO play. As we decided to run that play, we realized that those two defenders were going to cancel out our fast screen to the trip side. Similarly, the two defenders on the left being so close together was going to cancel out our out route despite the amount of space that we had to the outside. This left our RPO. We ran the number three receiver on his apex route and our quarterback read this inside linebacker on the play. As the ball is snapped, you'll see the quarterback's eyes on that linebacker. He sees that linebacker come up towards the line of scrimmage, which tells him to pull the ball and throw it to the apex. You'll also see that the outside linebacker who is defending that receiver was being aggressive on the run. That leaves our receiver open 
And when the quarterback releases the ball, we get the first down. On this particular play, he decided to try to make a play and bounce it back outside, where we had those two players that had been running a fast screen available as extra blockers. He was able to bounce it outside and turn this first down into a touchdown. A play like this is an example of where the game planning process and the practice process help us execute when things start to change in the middle of a game. Giving our quarterback options on this particular third down play gave us the opportunity to convert the third down and in this case, get some points on the board as well. I hope you learned something interesting today and I'll see you next time on Anatomy of a Play.